Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimax and before I start this video I would just like to personally thank you for all my viewers and subscribers to my PSP Slimax channel. It's been great and sorry I haven't posted in a while because I've been working, school, uh, and other uh, responsibilities I need to take care of. But yeah, don't worry, I'm still alive. I'm still making videos, computer related tutorial videos. So yeah, and today's video is going to be about how to um, fix a stretched, squished, out of re resolution screen. Why, what I mean by stretch and, and um, squish is that right here is squish and then like stretched out. I'm just using simple terms for those people that don't know how to uh, describe it when they're putting it in the search bar on YouTube to uh, figure out their answer. In reality, uh, for an IT guy, it's going to be uh, all how to fix your resolution. But I'm just using the simple ways. That way uh, people will find this video easier. And remember, this channel is how to uh, learn basic skills on how to fix your computer the most simplest ways for the first time, like without experience. So yeah, that's my goal, always my goal for all my videos. Anyways, <clears throat> I put my wallpaper black, that way you'll notice uh, how stretched the screen is. Like the bar, uh, the taskbar is just like completely stretched and squished from the sides. You, you get the idea. So yeah, and... Um, if you notice, I have triple monitors, but it has nothing to do with that. I disable both of the monitors on my side. That way, I'll just uh, focus on one monitor because I'm assuming a handful of you people will have only one monitor. Anyways, um, the reason why you, you'll get a stress screen is either because the drivers are not correct uh, or you don't have the installed drivers for your video card or your resolution is not set up. Uh, so uh, let's do the most simplest task ever by uh, having your resolution set up. So we'll go to, uh, we'll right click the desktop and we go to uh, screen resolution. Usually for screens it's either um, uh, the computer will tell you uh, when it says recommend it. So my screen resolution is uh, 1444 times 900. So when I click apply so it's just, the screen is going to flicker now the resolution is actually correct so nothing is stretched out everything it should be how it's supposed to be so you just want to keep the changes usually for laptops is going to be um it's going to it's going to tell you what what the computer says or um what it recommends usually laptops is going to be um 1366 times 68 so uh, my computer will read it it will be fine, but I'll have some black black lines on the on top and bottom because my my screen is not that wide like if it was a laptop. So I'll go with the recommended settings, and yeah, so that's basically it. But there's people that uh when they when they right click their desktop and go to screen resolution, uh the computer is gonna be recommending them to use all. Uh, some weird uh, resolution which is 800 times 600 some other resolution that does not fit the screen and that's because um oops I don't even know why I did that I honestly don't know but let's say like okay they're at 800 times 600 and and that's what the computers recommended but you do know that your screen resolution is not that because it still looks kind of weird so that's a problem with the video cards uh, drivers so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to start we're gonna go to all programs. We're gonna go to uh, Windows Update, and uh, you wanna click check up check updates if you if you don't have if you have never checked for any updates. And what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be uh, searching for updates for our video card. Uh, most computers they usually have a Nvidia graphics card like the like the little chipset. Mine, so I have a custom computer, so it's going to be a little bit different. So for the people that are using custom, I don't think they'll have a problem with resolution settings. But for the people that have a custom computer, you just obviously you want to take the the driver CD that came with your graphics card. Just put it in your uh, disk tray and just uh, just install your drivers. And from there, your, your computer should restart. And then it should automatically fix your problems with the resolution. But these are for the people um, that don't have a custom graphics card, a custom computer, and then they have a normal chipset or uh, graphics card. So yeah, right, I'm just gonna let this wait. And oh, never mind. Uh, it's gonna get your computer's gonna tell you uh, what updates are you you wanna install. You just wanna go to um, 50 optional updates, and right here, this is mine, and this is probably gonna be uh, a lot of yours. 
when you get something with NVIDIA or a Dion or with ATI graphics adapter, anything that has says to do video graphics, that's a sign that is usually um, your your graphics card. So you just want to click this one or whatever you have. And I suggest you to install the most important updates as well for your computer. But but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be installing the updates for... I'm not going to be installing the updates, but I'm just showing you what you will have to do. So again, you're going to be looking for... You want to go to optional, which is obviously going to fall into. Or sometimes it will fall into the important. But it, as long as you find NVIDIA, Radeon, ATI, and then it has graphics, video adapter, that's usually the graphics... Uh, drivers so once you click OK which I'm not gonna do because I already have them um, installed in my computer uh, once once uh, it starts downloading it's gonna install and you're you're gonna see your screen flicker a little bit like it's gonna turn on and off and then the computer uh, is gonna ask you to restart it so once you restart it that's when um, your your computer reboots and then as soon as you go to the login screen you should see the correct resolution Sorry guys that I have to use a phone to record is because I'm changing my resolution as I'm doing the video and uh, if I use the capture settings um, software it's gonna it's gonna get corrupted because the um, the resolution is changing so that's why I had to use my phone I couldn't just record off the screen so yeah guys so uh, that's the only tips I could give you to fix your stretch squish screen like oh, I'm just gonna set up my screen uh, how it's supposed to be. So I'm just gonna click OK. So after in, after following the steps in this video, you should get a nice, uh, correct resolution for your screen. So I'm just gonna keep the changes right there. So yeah, guys, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for for all the support and uh, viewers that I still currently have. And uh, I'm looking for making more videos during the, my winter break. So yeah, oh and today's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving or whatever you celebrate you guys. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much. This is PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.